today we're going to give you five things you can do to help you start as a freshman in college. Hoop loud, you. Number one. So, so for such a lofty goal as this, there is only one person you should talk to if you want to start in college. There's only one person you should direct your energy to. It shouldn't be teammates. It shouldn't be your mama. It shouldn't be your daddy, your homeboys, and it should be your coach. Okay, so make sure that you're not scared. Go in there and talk to your coach. Go in there and tell your coach about your goals. Let him know what you want to do to help the team and what he needs you to do or what she needs you to do to help facilitate that. It seems easy enough, but so many people are scared to go talk to your coach. Go talk to your coach, man! You need to be the best option. So I was looking at this magazine, and it gives you the review of like the top players in the state. And I was in the state, and I actually went to the gym, and I was going out there to see a particular player. And when I went there, I was asking people, I said, man, who was, who was such and such? And I finally got to somebody, he said, oh, you'll see. I'm not even gonna have to tell you when to get in the gym. So he came in the gym. Once that joker touched the ball, I knew exactly who I came to see. Now, I didn't know, I didn't know how that person looked, but it was evident, not only in myself, when I saw who, who he was, but everyone else who was wondering who he was, they knew who he was once he grabbed the ball. The best person in the gym. Is that the same thing as it relates to you? Are you the best option? That's the thing. Are you the best option put on the floor? Or do you just feel like you should? Or does your mom I'm just thinking like you should, or your dad, or the people that know you. I'm saying a total stranger, if a total stranger walks in the gym, would they want to play you? Think about that. If you want to start as a freshman, if you want to increase your eyes to start as a freshman, what you need to do is this. You need to throw away what you heard in high school when it's about the crossovers, the hezzy this, the hezzy that. When you're in college, the ball is valuable. Do you value the ball? When I say value the ball, value like they're your kids, like it's your last dollar, your last dot, value the ball. And it says that the ball should only go north and south. North and south, that's it. Towards the basket. Not east and west. You're not trying to do all this stuff here. You're not, because you're not really going anywhere. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. North and south. When you're bobbling the ball, when you're committing turnovers, coaches lose trust in you. So you want to be as efficient as possible when you have a ball in hand. No wasted movement. You want you have a, a goal of where you want to go. And that's put the ball in the hoop. Or put someone else in a position they can put the ball in the hoop. So all this stuff that you've seen on, on mixtapes and things like that, that, that's good for entertainment purposes but as far as start as a freshman as far as building that trust with your coach he or she does not want to see you doing your fancy tricks and what you learn off the court on the court they, they, they want to see efficiency they want to see someone that does not cost them turnovers their assist to turnover ratio is more assists than turnovers your assist to turnover ratio how does that look are you getting more assists in your turnovers or are you the reason why we got 20 turnovers at the half <laughs> Number four, you need to look like you want to start. Look like you want to play. Walk like you want to play. Then, okay, so when the coach, you know how the coach gets in a little frantic mood. He's like looking to find out. She's looking to find out who they're going to put in the gym, on, on the floor. And they say, ah. Now, if they look back at you and you're looking down, trying to make sure you don't, you don't get seen. What does that communicate? That you don't want to be out there. Somebody looks around looking for somebody to put in the gym. You should be locking eyes with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, pick, pick me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm not too proud to beg, man. I want to be out there. I'm going to make sure that it's abundantly clear that you and everybody else, I want to be out there. So when the coach is looking for a doggone player to put in, don't have your head down, looking looking around, not trying to intentionally not make eye contact. You look like, look, dude, no, I want to play. Put me in.
you to act like you've been there before. How do you act like you've been there before? You gotta be decisive. I've been charged more often times than I feel like I deserve for not being decisive, for not making up my mind and just going with it. It's basketball at the end of the day. You're not solving algebraic equations. You're not solving trigonometry you get out there. It's just like when you play in the park, it's just like you have an open gym at the rec recreation center, boys and girls club, in the backyard. You're just hooping at the end of the day. You only complicate things when you're not decisive. When you're, uh, should I pass the ball? Uh, no. Should I shoot? When you're thinking the ball, when you're thinking the game, instead of just reacting and playing the game. All right? If you're going to get subbed out, you're going to get subbed out regardless. You ain't going out, it's not about out thinking. Basketball is a game of reactions, right? The thinking should have been done before you got on the floor. If you think and get caught in that stutter mode of thinking all the time, you just reiterate the fact that you're behind wasn't supposed to be out there anyway as a freshman because you don't know the game enough. Put in the time before you get out there. And then when you get out there, react. Have a good time. Play the game you love. Just have fun. So be decisive. that you can do to increase your eyes to start in college. I hope this is helpful for you. I hope you can put, pick some things away and, and add it to your game. I know we're just starting the season this year and there's some freshmen, there's, there's some people out there that feel like they should be getting more playing time already. Exhibition games have just started. What I'm telling you is hang in there. Hang in there. Look at some of my videos. Let me know in the comments if you think it was helpful. If it wasn't, let me know some topics that you want to be covered. And is there anything I can do to help that process, whether it be in high school or whether it be in college? Let me know. Let your big brother Bell know and I'm going to come on through. So as always, when it's on the court off, in the classroom or out, graduate at the top of your class. Hoop loudy. out.